people from the YouTube. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded my last update on my pregnancy. Um, last video I uploaded, I think I was like either 12 or 9 weeks. But today I am 36 weeks, which is the beginning of the last month of pregnancy. And it's on the third trimester. Um, today I am 36 weeks and and three days yeah so some of the things that i want to talk about is about my second trimester the symptoms that i had and how it was for me so i had nausea till i was 20 weeks but when i was in my first trimester almost to the end i went and talked to my midwife at the time and she gave me a, um pills to help out with the nausea which was really amazing so I would recommend to you if you have nausea at the moment, if you're in your first trimester, that you should go and talk to your OB doctor or your healthcare provider or your midwife to see if she can prescribe you pills because they definitely help way more than, than ginger ale or ginger candies or anything else. Well, at least that did for me. And other symptoms that I had was bloatedness and heartburn. Um, from 25 weeks to 30, 35 weeks, I've been feeling that. Also, heart swollen feet, and I had to pee more often than before. The things that helped me with these symptoms and with these discomforts during the second trimester was um, the prescribed pills for the nausea, mint tea for the bloatedness, because when you're pregnant, um, you're limited on the amount of teas you can take and like the kinds of teas. I talked to one of my husband's cousin and she recommended me peppermint. No, it was just mint tea, I believe. And it helped me a lot. It, it was, it helped me really much with bloatedness. And I also um, had a constipation. So Metamucil also helped a lot, which is just pure fiber. Um, and for the heartburn, baking soda with water and Tom's that helped so much for the heartburn and for the swollen feet you can get somebody to give you a massage and it really helps a lot so for the third trimester symptoms um, I still get some heartburn but not as much um, definitely have shortness of breath when you start your third trimester and um, you definitely have to go to pee way more often than before and then for me, it's like I can be on my feet the most 30 minutes. Like after that, my feet just hurt so much. Like I have to sit down immediately and I get really tired easily. Um, and Braxton Hicks and you feel your baby move way more than when you were in first trimester or mid second trimester. At least that's how it happened to me. Um, and something that I that my OB doctor told me is that if you're dehydrated or if you're really tired, you're gonna feel those contraction Braxton Hicks more often and frequent. So it's good that you keep yourself hydrated and that you give yourself enough rest. If you're in the range from like 35 to 36 weeks, because that would still be concern, um, that would still be a preterm labor and you don't want to have that so some other things that helped me along that have been helping me along the pregnancy are these two apps which are called baby center and the bump and they're really good they give you like a lot of tips as to what to expect in the week that you are in your pregnancy what things you should buy or have ready for when you give birth to your baby when you go into delivery and also like um, tips about how to help with nausea with shortness of breath with anything that you may be feeling and you know like there's a lot of rumors and there's a lot of um, stories about different things so like it clears like what's which ones are facts and which ones are not facts or lies, you know? Yeah, so I would really recommend if it's 
if this is your first baby and you're where you're like getting checked out for your pregnancy doesn't provide maternal support you sh you can like apply don't let these apps and they will really help you so much right now i have maternal support from my clinic and that really really helps a lot so yes something that i also got it's i got a lot of stretch marks along my belly which you know it's a change of your body but yeah so so far my belly is looking like this so this is how the belly is looking like at 36 weeks and three days it's pretty big and we are having a baby girl so yeah it's pretty pretty nice um and you just got like a couple four more weeks two more weeks i don't know but definitely excited for the baby to come um i think the next video i would upload would be like how my delivery went and everything so if you're still interested in like updates of pregnancy definitely come and check my channel out and come back and watch the videos i definitely plan on doing more often videos the reason why i wasn't doing any videos recently was because i didn't have a um, wi-fi and we were moving a lot so we didn't have a stable place just like we do right now but it should this video should be coming back more often so yeah until the next time, see you guys later. Bye.